Hey everyone, Surge here, and uh, we're going for a couple of things off in the distance. You can see the uh, balloon Pikachu there uh, in a couple places. We're going to the Live Forever sign here, but uh, you could also go to this other area just in case we miss the Live Forever Pikachu. And uh, I had to run a little bit to get to where I am. Um, it's a little bit late at night. I don't think my face will show very well. Nope, not at all. So it's a lot of a uh, lot of Yanma, a lot of a lot of Drifloons out tonight. I've never seen that many Drifloons in this game. Of course, in Sword, uh, they spawn quite a bit in the wild area, and uh, we got an Alolan egg hatching. So that's cool. Yeah, it's almost midnight where I am. We got an Alolan Meowth. I'm sure that'll be three stars, like every... Al okay, two stars. That's, that's a bit of a change. We'll uh, incubate this Alolan egg from DPU, New York. And uh, keep on going. I set up an incense just to, you know, maybe attract a balloon Pikachu to where I am. Rather than me having to go all the way to uh, the signs. But... There's also a party hat Squirtle. I just caught a party hat Bulbasaur uh, before starting this stream. Decent amount of Wingles out tonight too, which is kind of fitting because uh, I live kind of near the beach, so that makes sense. A couple of Swablus out. I'm seeing more like repeats of Pokemon out than I feel like I usually do. Cool. Then we got a party hat Charmander, so. By the end of this, we might get uh, all the kind of event mods, and I'm pretty sure this is for Pokemon Go's anniversary. And I think it would be its fourth anniversary, since it came out, dropped 2016. So, this Charmander's a little stubborn. Got a nice throw. Yeah, I'm hoping this Pika doesn't fly away before we get to it. That's why I started running. But I'm also just in a mood to run tonight, which is pretty rare, honestly, for me. There we got a Tepig, which is pretty rare. We got an Ammonite. Houndour. Got a lot of cool mons here, actually. It's pretty diverse spread. There's Houndour. Just shiny checking that. And uh, Tauros. I think that can be shiny in here as well. I'm at the Terranair Resort, which is one of my kind of favorite places to stream. Just because it's like right near where I'm staying. There's a Cacnea. We might start running soon just so we don't miss the uh, miss the Pikachu. So we don't have to go too far for it. So we got Charmander and uh, Bulbasaur. I really would like to complete the set. So if we can get Squirtle and uh, all in one stream and Pikachu, then that's pretty much all of the like yellow version starters. So that would be cool. I'm trying to remember if I have Swoobat in here or not. Just check it out. There's a Bulbasaur. We'll check. Oh, this is the same Charmander as. Uh... Yeah, so we already had that actually. If only we could evolve it. A couple of Skarmory's out tonight too. Another sort of rare spawn. But uh, I'm going to search and see if we have a Swoobat. Swoo. No, I don't think we do. Nope, we don't. So we will pineapp catch, hopefully, this Lubat. Yeah, I walked by a couple walking uh, my way just as I started streaming, and uh, I kind of waited until they were out at earshot and said Pikachu, and then the the woman laughed. So I think, uh, I think she must have heard me say Pikachu. Sometimes your voice echoes more than you realize. So, uh, you have to walk with Woobat to evolve, to evolve it. Snivy, cool. Yeah, seeing some, uh, Unova starters here tonight. P-Dove can be shiny now, so that's cool. I think we shouldn't have a problem getting this Pikachu. We got one Pokeball as a reward, okay. And, uh, just before I started streaming, I got the, uh, use five berries. Um, 
got rewards. So, I was telling my friend Alex uh, yesterday that uh, we we're watching. Oh, there's a Squirtle. Cool. So we were watching a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh YouTube videos, and uh, you know, I was like, we we're watching this one guy, and uh, this one guy. He had like a Pokemon shirt on. He had like a Mudkip, uh, had a Mudkip like plush doll uh, within, you know, within the uh, video's frame. And I was like, this guy's dangerous. He's, uh, you know, he's uh, <laughs> he's doing a Yu-Gi-Oh video. I'm always self-conscious, like when I bring up uh, when I bring up Yu-Gi-Oh during a Pokemon thing. But uh, just before this, I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I beat the GX campaign, I guess 50% done with it. But that was a lot of fun, I have to say. And uh, I'm glad I bought that game. It's for the Nintendo Switch. And uh, yeah, I really liked the last two duels in that campaign because they weren't released in English. So that game just follows the anime for Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, yeah, so anyway, we're, uh, where this Pikachu should be spawning. So I know this thing this one can be shiny. Oh, a bunch of uh, cast worm. Yeah, this incense is attracting a lot of mods here tonight. So, let's see, where's our Pico? We can... That looks shiny. It's not though, it's just wishful, wishful hoping. Let's see, I'm trying to click on the Oddish, but not easy. Anyway. Let's see if we can get the Pikachu to spawn. And uh, we'll get the Ducklet too. Try and get up to Swana. I'm going to a yacht brunch party tomorrow. It's kind of interesting. You know, pretty risky COVID behavior maybe, but um, hoping to move out of the parents' house. They're the ones I worry about. But, you know, I'm going out to work, like, during weekdays. I'm going to a restaurant. Oh, there's our Pikachu. That's so cool. That's really cool. That's, like, probably the coolest Pokemon they've put in here. Look at that little, like, ring around it. Now, this thing, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to transfer to Let's Go. Pikachu or Eevee, unfortunately. Um, it would be really cool to have a Pikachu that could know Fly and Surf, but in Sword and Shield... For some reason, they can only learn Surf, and I'm not really sure why they made it that way, but this balloon, the balloons go out of the frame, this is funny. So, okay, so there's actually two Pikachus, flying Pikachus here. We will catch this one too, just in case, uh, just in case we happen to get the other gender with the last one. But, uh... Pretty solid stream. We got the Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Not the Bulbasaur on camera, but I showed it to you. So let me see if uh, there's a fan P. We could check that out. Yeah, let me check and see if uh, these Pikas are different genders or not. I think they're not. That's a female and that both female. Okay. So uh, we got another ducklet there too. So we can transfer one of those and there's a rocket grunt there, but I, let's see. I think it just turned rocket after I got here. So this guy wants to battle. He's got ghosts. I already did a ghost uh, go rocket battle recently, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to look and see and uh, I'm not at uh, Swana level yet, so I'll transfer this ducklet. And uh, yeah, so we got our... Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle with the party hats, and we got a flying Pikachu, so that's pretty good. Uh, mission complete. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And uh, is it going to show me now? Barely, barely. It's kind of a scary shot at night. So, um, I mean, I could just keep walking, I guess. Got another uh, party hat Bulbasaur here. I'll just shiny check it. You can't evolve those, so you don't need more than one, unless, you know, you collect genders, or I guess I could do that. So this way I'll have caught all three of the Kanto starters uh, on camera. But yeah, let me know what you guys did for 4th of July this year, because it's a pretty different 
state of affairs with COVID-19 and all that. So, did you stay at home? Did you, uh, did you go out? I, I pretty much just stayed at home and, you know, I, I read a little bit, read the sci-fi book I've been reading, uh, since last year. And then, uh, I'm not the book since last year, but the series since last year. I'm on the fifth book now. And then, uh, so I did that. I played some Yu-Gi-Oh, like I mentioned, and that was kind of it. No work or anything today, so that was nice, I guess. Uh, I thought that was a P-Dove, actually. They look so similar. We don't have Drapion on here yet, so... We'll just keep going. Let's see, can you see me now? No. It's a little lighter out here. It's a full moon tonight, so that's pretty neat. I'm just walking, walking around this resort at about midnight, just past midnight now. So we can get up to Drapion now, so that's cool. I will go ahead and do that. Get the ducklet here as well. There's a Charmander, party hat Charmander. But we already have two of those, so I'll check the genders and just see. Yeah, today was a gaming heavy day for sure. Yesterday was too, but I was with my friend Alex and we are just uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh and just dueling in real life with real cards. You can probably hear the ocean now. All right, so we're almost at a uh, Swana level. Almost at the amount of CP needed for that. So let's check out our Bulbasaurs. We have a male and we have a male. We have two males. And then for Charmander, also two males. I think the ratio for males on those is skewed. They're more, more of them are males than not, so we don't need to go for the, you know, we don't need to go for the other gender for that. Um, I think the swana here just disappeared. It's kind of weird. So let's go down to uh, Scorapi. Oh, maybe we, yeah. Okay, so let's transfer one of these ducklets. And then transfer the Swoobat. Well, we have the we have enough candy to get up to Swoobat. We just need to walk it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put this one here. Let's click uh, swap if we can here. I guess we can't do that here yet. Yeah, we can't do that. Okay. So let's just go up to Scorpy and uh, evolve. Transfer one of them. Keep two so that way when we evolve one we have both Scorpy and Drapion. And I guess we could get up to Swana this stream too. I mean the ducklets are appearing pretty consistently. I'm definitely getting some uh, mons appearing right now. Alright. So we got Drapion. Let's see what else is coming here. Swablu, yeah. Swablu is pretty common tonight. Wingle is common here. All these mons are like common in this area. So. Shiny checking the Carvana. Oddish. I see Hand Hour like in this spot specifically pretty often. And it's always kind of interesting to me because it's like by the ocean. And if I were a fire type Pokemon, I wouldn't be by the ocean, probably, but whatever. Couple hoot hoots out tonight. Larvitar, yeah. Larvitar, you see here sometimes. So. Let's, uh. Let's put. Woobat as our buddy. Go to me. Still got the Mew here. Swap buddies. Oh, we're almost out of Mew Candy, actually, so I'm going to keep that there for now. Sorry about that. Let's see. P-Dove on the water. You can imagine it's flying above the water. Rather than just sitting on it, magically. As if it were a water type. As if it were a ducklet, which it's not. Silly P-Dove, you're not a ducklet. Yeah, I think usually I end these streams when I run out of things to say or when the recording just cuts out automatically, and it tends to do that at around 30 minutes. 
which is way longer, I recognize, than most people will watch these videos for. I mean, I know for a fact that people don't, but uh, one can hope. And then when I use an incense, I kind of feel a little obligated to stick it through to the end of it. So, used to be half an hour now, it's an hour. I think that's the ball toy we already saw here. So, anyway, we kind of accomplished what we wanted to. If we could get up to Swana, that'd be a good way to end the stream, I think. Yeah. I don't like to have two of the same Pokemon, so that's kind of probably going to bug me for a little bit, but, you know, not a big deal. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch the Tepig, actually, because we... I think we need Pignite, because we evolved up to Embor. I need a Duwad in here as well. Getting a bit of lag. So I evolved my Porygon and Sword yesterday up to Porygon Z. That was pretty fun to do. Uh, I was just trading. Trading with my friend and uh, he doesn't really play much. He didn't have the expansion pass or anything, but he, you know, he's still he's still able to receive Porygon, even though it's an expansion Pokemon. So this is a stubborn Tepig. Fire type starters are stubborn tonight. Tepig's a little more stubborn than the Charmander was. All right, cool. So we got the Tepig. And uh, we, yeah, we need 14 more candy to get that up to, up to Pig Knight. So we'll just hold on to that. Shiny check the Zubat. Check out this gym here with an Ursaring. Just a lone Ursaring, definitely gonna beat that one. Let's go Metagross. Let's go Metagross, this is gonna be a new uh, Ruby Sapphire remake, no. So there are a pretty good amount of fireworks out tonight. Um, I mean, not fireworks, but like poppers and stuff, which the city of LA, like the county is always like, you know, it's illegal or whatever, but people do it. So there's our last uh, ducklet. We'll get that stop. We'll send something here. Organized by CP. Let's leave Rhyperior there, that's fine. Give it a couple berries. All right, we'll shiny check the Dwebble. Cause that, it's shiny just recently rolled out here. The beaches are all closed again, really annoying. So I'm not gonna, um, I'm not even gonna pineapple this, I'll just catch it. I think you get three candies by default when you catch something. So that'll be enough. Just enough. All right, cool. So first thing I'll do is switch Mew out. It's a high cap of being able to swap buddies like 14 or 20 times in the day. Um, we were gonna put Woobat here. All right. I think it's like not much distance needed to all woo that up, get its friendship up. All right. So we got woo bat there. Now we could evolve Ducklet. Another Gunavamon. We're just slowly rolling those out. Cool. Pretty productive stream. I just I was just kind of eyeing these Pokemon earlier, but didn't feel like going out, even though a lot of people were out today. Because Fourth of July it was like really sunny and clear. I just went for a drive, got some McDonald's for lunch and lunch slash dinner. Lunner. So there's our Swana. It's cool. Air slash and Ice Beam. That's kind of an interesting move set. But uh, yeah, I think we're done, guys. So uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, I'll catch you next time. And let me just make sure that this is, this event is uh, for the anniversary. 
We got the Go Fest coming up this month. Yeah, I thought there was the anniversary. I thought I saw that online somewhere. But, uh... Oh well, I guess? So, uh... Happy Pokemon Go anniversary, if that's what it is, and, uh... Happy belated 4th of July for us Americans, and catch you next time. Peace.